Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for our online session about CS card and Magento marketing. So first of all, I would like to make sure that everyone can hear us, so please if you have any troubles and you can't hear us, please type uh, in the chat section of in the, on the webinar panel. And uh, so far, I would like uh, to tell you in a few words before we move on, uh, I would like to tell you in a few words about the presenters of, today, of today's webinar. Promoto is a team of uh, so Promoto is a team offering multi-channel online marketing services, and we've been on the market for over 10 years now. We are official Google Analytics and Google AdWords partners with a number of PPC and SEO awards. So far, we have served around 350 clients worldwide. And our today's partner is L Team, the company that helps people start, support, and develop their online business from development side. L Team has a number of highly qualified experts specializing in CS card and Magento development. They can easily create the unique design and integrate it into your site, develop new features and do everything so that online users buy products with pleasure and ease, and that you could comfortably administrate all this process. And now a good, it's a good time to start. I'm giving the floor to our first speaker, Anton Makarov, a very experienced specialist. He has over 14 years in web development. His expertise covers Xcard, Python, PHP, and now he's working on Magenta products. So now it's a good time to give the floor to Anton. Anton, welcome. Please wait a second. I will switch the monitor to you. Hello. As you already know, my name is Anton. And let's begin. I am Magento and CS Card developer, and today I will give you my developer's view on these two systems. Today we will discuss the main aspects. Magento and CS Card, what is it? The main difference between Magento and CS Card, developer's review on both systems, what platform has the faster support, and a conclusion. Um, according to Google Trends, Magento is more popular than CS Card, but it does not mean that it is worse than Magento. As you see, the Magento system has a quick start and in some months it became popular. So Magento has a very good advertising and promotion company. Um, Magento and CS Card are content management systems for online stores. Um, but Magento is popular in Asia mostly, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and many Magento developers came from Asia. CS Card, being originated in Russia, are developing the reputation in Greece, Ukraine, Australia, etc. Now let's uh, discuss architecture. Magento is built on Zen framework and PHP MySQL based. So is CS card. Uh, they both use extensive, um, extensively AJAX technologies. Um, there are not um, much differences between the two. But uh, what I would note is CS Card is using Smart Template Engine. We will compare the two editions of Magento and CS Card. Magento Community and SysCard 
Uh, Anton, could you provide some more comments on the tables that you show so our uh, listeners could understand the benefits and uh, some disadvantages of these platforms, please? Um, yes. Uh, we, we are going to compare Magento 1910 on SysCard 424 versions. Both systems can be installed with some within some minutes and no programming skills are required. I'm going to tell you about administrative panel a bit later in detail. First, I should mention that both systems are good solutions for the e-commerce websites. They have almost similar features in the standard versions and differ from each other only in some technical moments. So Magento and CS Card have import and export in CSV format. They have responsive skins in the standard non-modified versions and you can find lots of free extensions for these systems on Magento Connect and CS Card market stores. If there is no free module for the feature you want, you can easily find a fee paying one. Be aware that there are more Magento extensions in the internet than CS Card extensions as Magento system is more popular. A Headworks company made research in 2014 year and found out that 25% of all online stores are based on Magento and only 1% is based on CS Card. But it does not mean that uh, Magento is better than CS Card. It means that Magento has an excellent promotion company. Also, Magento is translated in more than 10 languages and there are lots of free translation packages on Magento Connect. I tend to think that Magento is translated in almost every language in the world, but I did not check that moment. CS Card cannot boast such variety of localizations and you can find all language files on their official page, translate.cscard.com. Now let's look at the administrative panel. Um, in Magento, as you can see, there are two types of menus in the backend, horizontal and vertical. It looks very complicated for many people in the beginning, so shop owners become lost at first. Usually it takes several days, five to six days, to get used to the Magento. CS Card looks much simpler than Magento and it needs less time to understand the CS Card logic in the backend. In two, three days, you will manage the system without any tips. Hosting. To say the truth, it is hard to advise you the best hosting, as you all have different websites and uh, you all are from different countries. But there are a list of hosting providers that I and developers from our team faced with, and these hosting providers are recommended on CS Card and Magento forums. First for Magento, look through the list of hosting providers. Most of all can be familiar to you as they are well known in the USA and Europe. It is important to remember that Magento is a resource demanding platform and you should choose the hosting company according to this parameter. There are six important things you should research before getting Magento hosting. Server uptime, it is the most important key factor, uptime is the amount of time that the server has stayed up and running online. Load speed, with a fast load speed hosting, our customers will have better user experience, they can check more products, read more pages on your sites, and of course, they are likely to buy more products. Server specifications, make sure that the hosting you're going to choose meets Magento system requirements, this is important. Server location. This is mostly for sale purpose. If you target customers in the US, then go ahead with the Magento hosting in US. If you are targeting UK customers, then make sure that your Magento server is hosted in UK. This will benefit your site's ranking in search engine as your site is running under an IP from the targeted country. And uh, finally, support for hosting related Magento issues. It's also important that the hosting provider can provide reliable support for all web hosting related problems and for Magento issues as well. Uh, CS Card hosting. 
check out the list of the recommended resources. The recommendations that you pointed out before for Magento hosting are also suitable for CS card hosting. In addition, I want to put a focus on TMD hosting. It is working faster with solid state drive than with ordinary HDD. Last year, more and more hosting providers start to offer solid state drives by default or as an option. I personally prefer this kind of hosting because the speed difference is noticeable even without any measurement tools. Let's talk about design and layout. Design is another issue. Um, as it was already mentioned, Magento and CS Card have responsive themes in the standard editions. Besides, there are plenty of free and fee-based skins on the web. Of course, Magento is more ready to use skins than CS Card uh, platform because it is more popular. If you want to change a theme, it is easy to make the theme modification on CS Card. It is easier to make the theme modification on CS Card than on Magento. CS Card has a great standard extension, online theme editor, in the front end. And you can change the colors and fonts in the front end. There is no need to be a coder and no PHP, CSS or HTML to customize the CS Card current skin according to your needs. And uh, another situation is with Magento it is hard for the shop owner to change the current Magento skin without any programming knowledge base. The layout structure of Magento and CS Card both are created on the block basis and you can easily manage the blocks in the CMS backends. Mobile skins. As more and more people use mobile devices for internet shopping, you should adapt your web store for such kind of customers. Mobile and responsive skins are an excellent method not to lose the mobile clients. Where can you find good mobile themes? You can see them on the screen. Product details and product catalog features. Both systems have the standard set of features. Both have an unlimited number of products and categories. Both have a bulk category and product management. Both have similar promotion methods and products with features. The only thing that I want to point out, it is more convenient to create, manage and track the inventory of the products in CS card system than in Magento. These are the most popular modules. Modules are something you can add on top of the default installation of uh, a shopping cart. These modules uh, are installed separately. The most important ones are blog extension. Uh, typically you want to install it on your shop. Uh, your website should be fast. Have you heard that one second delay in page load time is identical to 7% loss in your conversions? It is not a great surprise that having a slow web shop, your visitors abandon the shopping in your store and shift to your business rivals. This is why I recommend you the Speedster extension and it is coming for free. I can hardly miss our e-commerce product designer software. It will be a great solution for shop owners who aimed at products customizing. For example, for online shops that are printing on t-shirts, making the promotional items, etc. Build your outfit extension is a must-have module for apparel shops. Your customers can combine different dresses, hats, shoes on the virtual model in your store that will boost your sales and force the customers to spend more time on your website. Google will notice it. Uh, 
Enfocys card blog is an important add-on. Button up is a very simple but useful add-on. It gives a little convenience to your web store visitors. We have already discussed product designer solution. This add-on is just for CS card system and it is flash based. Product price calculator is an essential thing for people who are selling items with custom dimensions. Fabrics, building materials, blinds, carpets, banners, etc. What platform has the faster support? Official CS card and Magento help desk services are working very slow. But you can find this solution for your problem on live CS card official forum or on Stack Exchange page for Magento questions. I should notice that very often CS card third party developers post ready to use code solutions for the most demanded features in CS card. It is a great opportunity to get the working extensions for free. Magento is free, but additional development modifications cost quite a fortune. Otherwise, Magento has lots of free modules. The paid license of CS Card is better than its free analog. Custom development for CS Card is cheaper than for Magento. CS Card has few free add-ons, but it has a live forum where you can find excellent free code solutions from third-party developers. Thank you, Anton, for a great speech. And uh, if uh, somebody has questions uh, concerning web development site, please feel free to ask the questions in the webinar panel or contact us after the webinar. And now we are moving to the um, marketing part of our webinar. So one second, please. So we are moving to the marketing part of our webinar and I would like to um, introduce Stan. Stan is an expert in search engine optimization and search engine marketing, website analytics and competitor analysis. He has worked with over 500 international projects in multiple niches including e-commerce stores. So without further talking, I'm giving floor to him. Stan, here you go. Please wait for a second. I will switch. Uh, the monitor to you. Okay, so hi everyone and today we're going to discuss a few issues. Um, three topics for today from my side are um, Magento marketing, how to avoid the most common platform SEO issues. The Second one is um, simple yet effective techniques to improve your CS card store rankings. And of course, the last one, but not the least important, is uh, the big win marketing strategy to promote your online store in 2015. So let's begin from the Magento. Uh, <clears throat> so main technical issues that you can find over Magento. Um, from the view of my experience, Magento is a very powerful e-commerce platform that is used by lots of huge retailers, but there are issues that both small and large retailers tend to face a lot. One of the biggest ones is performance, of course, which comes as a result of the platform being so robust. There are lots of things that can be done to improve the performance, such as using page caching or, and optimizing servers, uh, serving assets via the CDN and standard procedures for optimizing JavaScript and CSS. But lots of smaller retailers especially seem to struggle in this area. So the main technical issues people tend to have are usually issues with Magento rewrites. Uh, Magento has a kind of agent that can generate mm, a few types of uh, URLs that should be closed from indexation. So let's have a, a little bit closer look. So the first one is non-unique URL key entries uh, causing URLs to change. So let me explain a little bit. Uh, 
there are a number of common Magento SEO issues that lead to numbers like uh, dash one, dash two, etc., being appended to URLs, including the use of duplicate URL keys. This can be caused by another page using the same URL key you're inputting on a separate product, or it could be that the given URL key has been used in the past. Magento's default behavior in this scenario is to add a rewrite to append the number at the end of the URL. To resolve this issue, you need to delete the rewrite entry against the previous URL. This may need to be done uh, for lots of entries, so I would suggest doing it alongside a developer or SEO analyst and being very careful as deleting incorrect rewrites can cause very serious issues. So, and the second one, second one issue which uh, is connected to the rewrites is URLs content caused by a catalog folder, URLs being indexed. So, um, on this slide you can see an, an example of this kind of URL. So, there is a domain name of some website, whatever, and a catalog slash product view ID and lots of folders and this this could be a duplicate of any of your um, product pages if you are using Magento. So, uh, if you're using an early version of Magento or if you've changed the option in the configuration, you could be using the out-of-the-box Magento URLs which look like this one that I've shown you, this one. This can also happen if you delete the Magento rewrite table or specific some specific entries, which would change your existing URL, clean URLs without applying redirects, a rewrite rule to the previous. Um, you can check you can check whether you have this kind of URLs in search engine index if you use uh, a search operator like site double dot example, uh, it means like your domain, domain.com, and in URL, uh, double dot catalog. Uh, this will show, will show all applicable URLs that are being indexed. This issue can generate over a thousand duplicate versions of product pages indexed. In order to resolve this kind of issue, I'd suggest working alongside a developer to try and resolve this issue with the canonical, so with the rewrites you put uh, the rewrites on the pages like this one mentioned on this slide to the, to, the, um, to the unique page you have on your website that you wish to be ranked well. So this is, this is the main process. So let's move on to the second one. Um, second issue over Magento is indexation of dynamic pages and configuration issues. This includes pagination, bad canonical tags, implementation and duplicate products, etc. At this part, everything is pretty simple. Please don't forget to close all pages of sorting and limiting in your robots.txt. Pagination issues on Magento should be fixed with rel next and rel pref. Also, like with product pages issue on Magento, all filtration and dynamic URLs, I mean pages that have uh, lots of uh, products on it, but the URL may change, should be canonical to its upper level category or subcategory page. Okay, next one. Next one is internal and external duplication. Uh, Magento e-commerce stores usually suffer from internal and external duplication as products have similar descriptions. For on-site duplication is usually to use meta robot stack purely because it works and meets the criteria to submit manual removal requests in Google Webmaster Tools. If it's a very large website or it's something like a multifaceted filters or session IDs which can result in a huge amount of dynamic URLs being generated, I'd use the robots.txt to prevent issues with crawl budget which is which but in most cases I use meta robots. My optimum option is a good implementation of the canonical tag. However, it doesn't always look it doesn't always work and will take a long time to fix any existing issues, which is why I rarely rely on this. And the last, the fourth issue for Magento is poor use of static pages. Um, as in Magento, uh, 
poor use of static pages. On massive e-commerce stores, that uh, there is a big mass of static catalog pages that can be used for gaining organic traffic. Proper content written for each of the pages and their optimization can boost your website's presence in Google search engine uh, results and therefore traffic and sales. So, if you write keyword optimized texts for pages uh, that can gather a sufficient amount of organic uh, traffic, this will bring a huge effect to you. So, more optimized content bring you best position in SERPs and therefore better CDR. It means more organic traffic, more sales and more revenue. So, now we are moving on to the part about CS card. And um, as in Magento, similar issues may be found on CS card and most of them can be solved by installing add-ons or extensions. To make this part more interesting, I made a small research on what CS card issues are mostly searched in the web. So, and uh, I can figure out so, so that, um, that this can be exporting product data to Google Merchant Center if you have a big online store that is connected to Google. Uh, and sometimes it causes lots of issues for, for general, generally for users. The next one is secure connection fails whether, when you have the, an SSL certificate installed but it doesn't work. And setting your PayPal to CS card because it's um, one of the most popular and easy to use payment systems in the world. And the fourth, but, uh, uh, and the fourth for CS card is displaying free shipping label on your product pages. So, the first one, um, Google Merchant Center is a tool that helps you to upload your store and product data to Google and make it available to Google Shopping and other Google services. The issue is important for advanced online stores. Sometimes the process may be cumbersome. On, on these slides, you will find detailed instructions. So you can, that's just the example for you. You can just show it to your programmer or your personal SEO analyst and probably he can fix that. And that's the second part, when you need to export your data from CS card. And then you can uh, upload it back to, to Google. Uh, and please don't forget that your feed should be created according to Google requirements. Here is the link for you on the slide, okay? Okay, now we're moving on to the second issue of the CS card, and that's the secure connection files. As you know, about a year ago, it was announced by Google that websites should uh, that websites with secured connections will be ranked much higher in on search results. So here is also the popular problem over the issue for you, and uh, how uh, here is the algorithm how it can be uh, analyzed and how you can find the way you can fix that. Some of the steps here on this and the next slide. Uh, can be fixed even by you because it's a pretty simple issue. Some of them are not, so you will need your programmer to do this also. Here is the uh, instruction for you. Here and here. So, and um, now we are moving on to the third issue over the CS card. Um, one of the most popular um, payment systems is PayPal. It's a safe and fast way to send money, make payments, receive money, or set up a merchant account. So, how can you, can you set up a PayPal on your CS card store? Um, actually, you need uh, an add-on which uh, can be just switched on uh, in your pay, uh, in your CS card admin panel. Here's also an instruction for you. Here and here. And please, in the end, don't forget that uh, in order to use PayPal as a payment method on your site, you must support the PHP's curl. The fourth issue is, is about displaying a free shipping label on products detail pages. If you have any product in your store that has free shipping, you can display a message about this right on the product page. Here you can find detailed instructions on how to do it in a form of text or picture. So you can you can actually you can actually display any message about uh, any any message about uh, the free shipping on your store. So uh, you need a programmist to 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 do this. So here is the uh, uh, instruction that you can give. 
only for you. I made a small uh, I, I made a small investigation over these two CMS systems. And uh, here is a small comparison table for you. So here we have most um, um, most common SEO issues in the left in the left common. So here are the robots.txt configuration and modification, sitemaps creation and updating, and uh, redirects and 404 page, canonicals and URL customization uh, and website customization. Um, and the images customization issues. So the green green cells mean that CS card me, has a uh, more easy way to uh, optimize or uh, update any uh, SEO issue. So while in Magento you need a special extension to do, do something out of this or the out of this list. So in CS card they have something installed right into admin panel. So some of the issues can be possible to do manually and quick. Some of them are um, possible right from the admin panel, and some of them are possible to do to to be implemented only through extension extension or add-on, as you can see here. So basically, basically to cut the long story short, Magento is more customizable in terms of SEO. It has uh, really it has. Uh, more thing to do over the SEO and it can be um, customized any way you need, but it needs advanced programming skills and uh, on Magento you need to install install more extensions to the store. CS card is less problematic and easy to use, but it is not as flexible in SEO or opti any optimization as Magento. So now we're moving on to the marketing strategy to promote your store in online in 2015. So now I'm going to tell you about a kind of experiment we've done in Promodo recently. E-commerce website promotion with the use of one or two channels uh, like paid ads or SEO has become a behind the time tactics a long time ago. The most effective way in is combining channels for promotion your online store. For example, like SMM and online videos and SEO and PPC at once. So now we'll find out how to find new customers for your online e-commerce project by using non-obvious promotional channels. Here is a result of one of my clients which was dedicated only to SEO strategy. Results, prediction for this engine, uh, for search engine promotion for for the new site is almost impossible. The way how everybody worked before doesn't work now. This is the paradigm of search engine promotion for all new projects. Here are the search engine result page for the search query for the Haberdashery shop. Top result is uh, a video uh, with a link uh, to a store's website second one is images and the third one is a YouTube channel. So to be first on um, on the search engine result page you need to be uh, optimized from all these three sites. Remember that search engine is not only the search itself. After all Google owns YouTube, Android and Google Plus. There are also other different social networks like Foursquare, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and others. So what are we going to do next? What do we do with our marketing program? In your marketing strategy, if your marketing strategy is aimed on attracting customers using one or a few tools, it doesn't work anymore. The user, no matter where, he can find information about your product, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or paid search advertising. It is important that uh, the information was there where it is convenient to you to see it for the user. So when we talk about the search engine marketing, it is not only search. We also talk about pictures, videos, RSS, mobile search, and others. Um, Promoto decided to check whether the multi-channel promotion works, and we decided to test the approach on various products. We made um, a list of uh, websites and, and uh, projects and we decided to make an experiment. 
we chose an existing online store which were trading with electronics and we created a new, a brand new uh, store that was selling some stuff for kids. For each of the project, we came up with a plan. We pushed it up in the top of SEO results. Also, we pumped it up in the top of image search and social networks, and we optimized all videos and reviews. For all the, for all products, we filmed a video right in the in the office. Uh, the test was conducted during the months. The key performance indicator was monitored daily. As a result, for example, children's uh, Crocs sandals, as you can see on this slide, uh, the video of this product hit the top of Google and YouTube. So you can see uh, the first video here. And all, almost all the SERPs on, on Google. Uh, this slide shows the result of YouTube channel promotion for already existing online store of electronics. To do this, we carried out optimization of content on YouTube, launched a campaign for one of the products, and made it a product of the week. So here is how YouTube referral traffic to the website increased. You can see it, it multiplied only uh, almost in five times. An interesting fact during our experiment, uh, when the quantity of video uh, of YouTube video views bumped up, uh, website search traffic increased by 20%. During the months, the store received more than 15,000 visitors and 278 transactions more. And here is the total traffic growth on the slide. So. Uh, the total traffic growth was about 11% for months, and the revenue growth was about uh, 160%. Conclusions uh, based, based on this data, each will make for himself. Uh, we have become accustomed to speak of multi-channel retail sector, and I tried to show you the examples how it's done and what results may be achieved. The main, main conclusion for new online stores projects is that it is necessary to change the model of promotion. You realize that you lost the battle in search traffic, especially if you are in electronics retail niche. Here we are talking about short-term results, but you have all chances to win the war if you go to a model where you bring the user value of your content. So thanks a lot, and please follow all your questions to the chat. Thanks, thanks all, everyone. Thank you, Stan, so much. So yes, I would like to repeat the question, uh, to repeat what uh, Stan just said. So if you have any question, please feel, feel free to submit them in the section. And I've already seen some questions, and I will uh, read them out right now. But before we move on to the questions, I would like to uh, tell you that for today's attendees, we have a very small present. So if you feel, actually we have a special offer from promoters. So if you feel that you are stuck with your online marketing efforts and you would like some help and advice, don't hesitate to request a free 50-minute personalized webinar from Promodo. During the session, our specialists will audit your site for SEO, PPC, and usability issues. Also, feel free to contact L team for Magento and CS card custom development, design creation, and integration and integration. Their team of e-commerce developers are ready to help you. So now let's move on. Thank you for your attention, and let's move on to the questions. Uh, so. Uh, first of all, uh, concerning the um, optimization part. So the question is, making all pages secure to improve Google ranking, does it improve it essentially, or we are just talking about 1% to 2% profit? Applying CCL for all site pages makes them a lot slower, which in turn affects rankings. So uh, Stan, could you comment on this question? Also, uh, already been writing uh, an answer for you, so okay, I will okay. just 
read it out loud. So uh, <clears throat> I would say that, uh, of course, it depends on the scale of your website. Sure, we're, if you install an SSL certificate on your website, it will not improve uh, your search traffic twice or three times. Sure, sure not. But uh, of course, we are talking about small scales. But I, nobody can say that whether it will be one or two percent or three, five, ten. So uh, it will bring you a good effect, but um, nobody can say. Uh, how how big would it be? Uh, we can mention that a big hype is coming right now in internet marketing world that mobile optimization is going to be a new yep. big ranking factor. So probably it's good to care about this part of your website. Okay, thank you, Stan. And uh, also we have um, a question as uh, going to the web development part uh, about Ajax implementation. Uh, this is quite, I think uh, this question uh, requires advanced knowledge uh, for our attendees. So, uh, Tony, I, I think you won't mind if our expert, Anton Makaro, will contact you directly and will answer your question. So, so far, let me check. I don't see any other questions. So, thank you everyone for coming today and attending our webinar. Let's keep in touch, follow us on social media and see you next time. So have a nice day. Bye.